Hello, Curious Love. So for this video, I am going to give you my top 10 red lipsticks recommendations for the holidays. And actually, these are the top 10 best red lipsticks for me for the year of 2020. And also, for this video, we are going to start with swatching the top 10 lipsticks from the number 10 to the number 1. And then in between, or every after I do the swatch, I am going to remove the lip color with the makeup remover and then I will put foundation on my lips so we see the color much more. And then after that, I am going to share with you the swatches of this one on my arm and Last but definitely not the least, I hope this is not a very long video, but I am also going to share with you my entire lipstick collection. So I can finally go ahead and put it out there and share it all with you. Also, it will be like an inventory of, and I can see which ones I have, which ones I haven't been using, and which ones I have completely forgotten that I have, which I have a lot of those. So much habs on this one. Without further ado, let's get swatching. So the first red lipstick that I am going to share with you that's perfect for the holiday season is this one. It's a Sephora Cream Lip Stain. And this is in number 01. And what I love about this one, not only they are affordable, but also it's made in Italy. Let's swatch. This next lipstick is the By Terry Lip Expert Matte in number 9 Red Carpet. I chose this one as another liquid lipstick. It's a matte form because I love the type of red that this brings and I love the formulation of this lipstick from By Terry. It's a luxury product but worth it. Let's try. So lipstick number 7. This one is the Fenty Beauty by Rihanna Matamoselle Plush Matte Lipstick in the shade Madame. Let's watch. So this next one is the Huda Beauty Power Bullet Matte Lipstick in the shade Promotion Day. Let's swatch.
So this next one is just a limited edition packaging, but this particular shade is on a permanent line of NARS Audacious Lipstick. And this is in the shade Rita. It's a moderately warm tone, medium dark red with a cream finish. So let's start swatching. Number five on my list is this Yves Saint Laurent Rouge Pour Couture in number 203 Rouge Rock. So this is a classic blue-based red, which is a universally flattering shade. Let's try it on. So this next one on the number four spot is the Pat McGrath Matte Trans Lipstick in the shade Obsessed. It's number 211. So this lipstick is the only one that's limited edition on my top 10 list. But I think you could still get this like let's say Sephora favorite lips if you still have those on the country that you are from. I have to include it here because I really, really like this one. It's perfect right for the holidays. Let's watch. This used to be my ultimate favorite red lipstick, but it got knocked down by the number one now. And this is a staple for Chanel. If you are a real fan of Chanel, you know that Chanel have a signature lipstick, and that's this one. Chanel 99 Pirate. It's an intense red with a satin finish. Let's watch. How cool is that? Press. And there it is. Speaking of signature lipstick, I have another one here and this one is from Christian Dior and this is no other than the Dior or Rouge Dior 999 Metallic. So their signature was like the 999 Classic and then they come up with 999 Matte and now this is the Metallic version because I wanted to give you a variety on this video, different shades of reds, different formulations and of course we gotta have Dior. On my first video of red lipsticks which is my first ever video here on YouTube way back, it was there. Another Dior lipstick that I have was this one, and I still have it. So we're changing it this time with this metallic version, and then without any more blabbering, let's swatch this.
And last but definitely not the least is of course Tom Ford, my favorite brand for luxury makeup. And this one is in special edition packaging. I think they already put this on their permanent line because it doesn't say limited edition on the Tom Ford website. And this one is the one called Tom Ford Lip Color Lost Cherry. That's LC01. So I'm very, very excited to go ahead and share this with you. So let's do this. Alright, so these are all of my lipstick collections. I am not sure that this is the right way of me presenting them sitting right here opposite of the camera or should I be at the back or should I have just placed them in a drawer and then have the camera overhead but uh, let's just try this one and I'm not also sure if I'm going to open them one by one but Come on, let's just get started. I think I am going to start with the lip glosses and then we go with the lipstick. All right, this one I showed you on my Victoria's Secret haul. It's a Victoria's Secret lip gloss. And uh, this one is called After Dark. I have some more lipsticks right here and then we have two of this Wet n Wild. I used to have about five of these ones but I lost them and, and some, um, the, there was a problem with the cap. I really like the consistency and the formulation of these ones, but there was one that I was having it in my pocket and leaked. So I had to throw that away and I really like that one. So yep, these glosses that are called Mega Slick Lip Glosses from Wet n Wild are very nice, highly recommend. This one is in shade Wind and Dined and then the other one is just Cotton Candy. And then I have Sephora, which you have seen on my Sephora favorites video. Wow. This is the Bretman Rock lip gloss. And this one is in the shade Freaky. Look at there. I think it'll be easier if I will be standing. Another lip gloss that I really like right here is this Urban Decay Hi-Fi Shine lip gloss in called, what's the shade of this one? Gold Mine. This is very pretty. It has a minty scent to it. So yeah. And I have some more lip glosses over here. I only have one of this. Matt and me in birthday suits. This is one of the most popular ones from Sleek. Sleek Matt me in birthday suit. I have only one from Huda and this is in the shade Crush. Huda Beauty Liquid Matte in the shade Crush. Color Pop Ultra Blotted Lip in the shade Slide. So pretty. And then I am going to my Kylie lip glosses. I think I'm missing one. 
There should be one more. Maybe it's on one of my bags. So I have here Coco K Gloss. I like this. This is so nice. Nude lipstick or liquid lipstick. I have a Velvet Liquid in the shade Boy Bye. And then I have two of this metallic glosses that are golden. The one underneath is called Glamour and the one on the top is called Noel. And I think both of them are limited edition. Those are my nice little lipsticks. I only have one from Technique Shine and this is the time that I forgot to bring a lip product with me and then I gotta have something on my lips. I bought this one. So these are the nine lipsticks that I got from the brand Ink Incredible. So I wanted to do a swatches of swatch video of all of them, which will be up by let's say January, February. Some of them I shared with my Filipino beauty sisters, like this one, this one, and I think this one too. If I'm not mistaken. So yeah, um, just different finishes from Incredible, and there's nine of them right here. And the swatches will be up very soon. So these are some of my Kat Von D lipsticks. They are part of the set or got it from sale. This one I got from Sephora from a sale. It's a very pretty shade and every time I wear this, a lot of people ask me which one I'm wearing. And this one is the Melancholia. And then another one is this. I haven't used this if I'm not mistaken. This is still new. And this one is called Berlin. Very pretty everyday shade. And this one I got from the Red Lipstick Favorites. I did a swatch video of this one. Underage Red. So those are the Kat Von D lipsticks. Right, I am going to stand. <laughs> Let's see if this is going to work better. Alright, so I am going to go to this pile right here. Because this one holds more liquid lipsticks. And these are my NYX liquid lipsticks. I think I have... I should have an H&M here somewhere. I have two. I have two of these. Where's the other one? <laughs> So I have uh, this one and then I also have a hot pink one of this velvet lip cream from H&M that's matte. And this one is in the shade Some Like It Hot. But there's another one. I don't know where it is. Alright, so I only have three of these uh, soft matte lip creams in full size that are left in my collection. And it's these ones. My favorite, of course, is Manila. It's a very nice summer shade. And this one is perfect. I love it. Every time I'm wearing that in my videos, everybody's asking, hey, what are you wearing? And I'm like, I'm wearing Manila on my lips. I'm from Manila, so I'm really proud of it. So this is one is Manila, this one is Rome, and this one is Paris. So when I was starting on collecting them, I only kept the ones that, or bought the ones that I have already went to. So yeah, that. But I have some more here. So I, I bought the entire set of the NYX Soft Matte Lip Creams. But I gave away a lot of them. So I only kept a little bit here. And they're just mostly dark eyed, dark colors. Because I asked people to choose color of their choice instead. And then of course they took the nicer ones. But I have some here that are left. Which ones are here? So I have Athens and Cyprus. Athens, Cyprus. This I haven't used yet, so they're still new and I haven't opened them. Uh, this ones are Zurich, Switzerland, and then Stockholm, Sweden. And then we have, which ones are this? Okay, so I have here Madrid from Spain and then Budapest, Hungary. These ones are Brussels, Belgium, and Transylvania, Romania. They are very, very dark ones. And then I have here, which ones are these? Okay, so the one on the top is Lisbon for Portugal. And then the one at the bottom is Copenhagen for Denmark. 
And then I have here, okay, St. Petersburg for Russia, the gray right here. And then I have Dubai, United Arab Emirates. So the, those are the ones that people did not choose. Maybe I chose the ones in the front, but the other ones I, they didn't like because it's so dark or whatnot. So yeah, those are my liquid lipsticks. And just an uh, exception of um, this one, MAC Lip Glass, which is Girl About Town. This is very old. I didn't think I'm just keeping this for the collection, but I should declutter that one. Never gonna use this anymore. And um, I have some more that I think I have shown you on my lipstick collection video. Yeah, so I wonder if I am going to do a, and show you one by one of the MAC lipsticks because I made a video of this. Maybe I could just link it here or insert it on the cards on the top right corner of the screen. I don't think there is a, a reason for me to show them one by one and open each one of them since I already made a video out of it. But yeah, maybe I can show you just like the packaging or whatnot. All right, so let's go ahead and start with the limited editions here from MAC. So this is from the Chris Chang collection. I have four, I think there's five of it. So I have Devilish, and then I have Cloud Gates, I have Plum Princess, and Gold CC or XIXI, or was that, I don't know, Gold XIXI. So th those are the four. But you will see all of this in my MAC lipstick collection video. And then I have here some Viva Glam. Okay, so I only have a four Viva Glams that are on boxes and then the rest are not on the box. So I have here Viva Glam Rihanna. And then I have Viva Glam Miley Cyrus, Viva Glam Miley Cyrus 2, and Viva Glam Ariana Grande one because ariana grande had made like a couple yeah i think this viva glam rihanna is the exact same one as this one so it has riri in there and it's this shade yeah i just have doubles i'm a riri fan and then i'm going to show you the next ones okay i got here MAC Testosterone. Just a limited packaging is the box, but the inside is just regular MAC lipstick. And then this one is the Ellie Golding. I like that one because that is a very nice nude shade. And it's not here inside. Oh my gosh, where is it? I think I used that and then I was not able to put it back here. That's the good thing about when you're doing a makeup collection video, you see what you have and then what's missing i have two of this mac vibe tribe collection and this one is the tanorama and then the hot chocolate hot chocolate was very popular back then when this was released mac wash and dry from a summer collection this is way back i just really have to have this in my collection this is a staple for mac limited li edition lipstick collectors so i have two some more staple i have this one and this is the from the mac i forgot the, the name of the collection but this one is called the goddess of the sea lipstick that i can open if they're not in the box i'm gonna open them for you ariana mac riri in who's that chick so i have two of the mac riri before i have the riri Wu, but i lost that one so this one is like used up to the almost very end <laughs> this one's very pretty i really love that orangey metallic type of lipsticks orangey gold i have here candy yum yum but that's old and then I have a Viva Glam. Oh yeah, I showed you that Viva Glam Rihanna. This one is the Mac Stokso X Stokso J X Yoni. It's very very cute lipstick, and the packaging is pink inside. So pretty. 
What else do I have? Okay, I have here the Charlotte Olympia MAC lipsticks. These are in the shade Retro Rouge and then Starlet Scarlet. I also have MAC Zach Posen right here. And this is like an orange shade. And then I have here Audacious, a MAC Audacious. MAC Audacious is this special packaging that looks like a, a chess. Like one of the pawns in the chess. Looks like this. <laughs> okay. I think this is a red one. More of limited editions. So I only have one of the Mac Guo Pei, but this one is very pretty too. It's a stunning lipstick. Very nice packaging, such a work of art. Guo Pei is the designer, and it's a very nice red. Okay, this one smells so good still, so I could use this one. I have which are these? Yeah, two of the Rihanna. But this is different packaging. This is the one with the white packaging. So I have Pleasure Bomb and then Riri Wu. But yeah, so these are the two ones from Rihanna. And then of course he had the Viva Glam also. Moving on to more. So I have here the Mac Brew Candy. Limited edition collection and this one is duo and then whirl so whirl is part of max permanent one but it's nice to have it on a limited edition collection so whirl came out on other mac limited edition collections we call it repromotes i have only one of the mariah oh my gosh should have more this one is uh, one of the christmas editions and it's very nice sparkly silver with gold in the middle. And then I have some trolls, but I only have two. I'm missing two, I guess. I don't know how many did they come up with. Can't Be Tamed, Mac, and Mac Trolls, a Midnight Troll. Of course, I got Selena, but I only got one because these are sold out everywhere. This is Selena, and this is just perfect because there's a new Netflix series about Selena. Some more here. Okay, so I have Mac Toledo. If I'm not mistaken, this was like released in 2013, 2014. I only have one of the Mac Nutcracker right here. Very nice packaging inside. And only one of the Mac Love at First Bite. If I'm not mistaken, this is given to me by Sis Nancy of Nancy Life TV together with the Testoster one right there. Let's see. I have uh, two here. I have Candy Wrapped and then Velvet Punch over there. So Candy Wrapped and Velvet Punch. And uh, let's see how they look like. This one is on like this MAC new packaging where it's like a little bit more matte bullet than their usual ones. I think it's like, yeah, because it's just a powder kiss. This new one right here. So this one is, oh, a very nice pink. And it really looks like powder matte right there. This one I haven't used yet. And this one I haven't shown on my previous, or on my, yeah, Mac video. And then I have Tender Talk Lip Balm. Oh, I thought I showed. This is a Mac. Mac limited edition lipstick in skew. I think this is a light shade. So I was lucky with this one because I was the one of the first to buy it when this was released. So I was able to choose the one I wanted and I just wanted to grab one just for having my collection complete on the packaging. But this is stunning. 
It's like a very nice nude lipstick. More rosy. Side. And yeah, I am going to open two lip gloss over here. Ooh, so exciting. But I think I shared this on my makeup collection video, if I'm not mistaken. So this one came, I think, a collection from last year. And this is called uh, Mac O Sweetie Lip Color Lacquer. And the shade is Strawberry Mousse. This one looks like this. Very pretty in pink. Just so nice. Matches my nails. That is so cute. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait to use this one. I really want to use this one. And then I have here another one. But yeah, I shared this on my makeup collection video when I showed you some of the MAC items that I hold but I haven't opened yet. So I'm just going to give you a sneak peek of this one. And this one is called Nature Freak. It's the shade. And it's just a gold lip gloss. A very golden one. Just like this. Okay. And I have just two more right here. It's a feeling sentimental from Mac. Looks like this. A very pretty marbly lipstick packaging. Just so stunning. I also have the face palette for this one, which I will show you on the palette video tomorrow. So tomorrow we are going to talk about makeup palettes. From face palettes to eyeshadow palettes. This one is so stunning also. Look at that pearly white with lots of pink petals. Those are just so pretty. And that's about it. That's all for the MAC lipstick collection. Alright, so this part of the video, I'm going to share with you my H&M lipstick collections. And H&M has one of my favorite everyday lipstick formula. And I love it. And I just usually buy them on sale, like almost all of them. Yes, so let's go with the ones on top with the white packaging and then gold. So here I have... This one is Raspberry Beret and then Route 66. And this is how it looks like. So Raspberry Beret is like this. And Route 66 is just a very nice chocolate shade. These are both so stunning. And they smell so good. They, they have a similar scent as the MAC lipsticks. Very affordable, but very good quality, and they last long also. This next pile will have Ziggy and Electric Peach. So Ziggy is a red one, and Electric Peach is one of my ultimate favorites. And it looks like this. Electric Peach, like a metallic peach. And every time I wear this on my videos, a lot of people really ask about it also. It's just so stunning, more of like a true red. And then I could share you this. These two are, I have here, Smitten and Tangerine Tan. I don't think that these are available still. Maybe you could still find these shades, but not on their regular line because uh, they keep on changing their permanent lines also. So this one is ta Tangerine Tang, and that is Smitten. Smitten! I love Smitten. That's like my everyday pinkish shade. I'll be doing H&M lipsticks watch this video very soon, hopefully in January. And yeah, this one, okay. We have here Rose Hip Jam. And a very pretty red. 
and oh this one tea rose i love it but this one on the lips is a little bit more cooler almost neon ish pink but yeah still wearable so i love them so i have um eight h and m lipsticks that i haven't opened yet and i prefer to just swatch them on a specific video especially for them and the shades here are free spirit Pyrope, Great Minds, Pink Alike. That is a super cool name. And Rust Me. Rust Me is very popular. It's a very nice shade. And then here I have Pomelo Juice. I think that's permanent. Sakura. I think that's limited edition. Punkster Pink and Clay With Me. So those are the other colors that I should be sharing with you on a lipstick collection haul instead. So let's move on. Just when I thought I have everything placed here already, nope, I have some more that I wasn't able to put here initially. And this, this are this lipsticks. And just some more right here. Oh my gosh. All right, so randoms, randoms, randoms. And this is the H&M lipstick that I was looking for earlier. I know that I have one more in this color for the velvet lip. Yeah, but I could put that in there instead. All right, so I am going to share with you the lipsticks that are in this container right here. So these are just randoms, minis. I think that this is not complete because there's some that are not here. Yeah, but yeah, let's deal with it. So I have this liquid matte from Too Faced. This used to be very, very popular. I think I used this one. But I just recently opened this. Yeah, I, I used this one, but um, this is not even a year yet. So that's okay for me. I mean, not a year yet used, so yeah. And then I have just some randoms here. I only have one of the Makeup Forever lipstick. I only have one. This is in the shade Artist Rouge Cream in C206. And I decluttered one already, but I gave that to Camille instead. Yeah, maybe I could start swishing some so it becomes more interesting right and it looks like that and then i think i'm gonna end up with lots of swatches let me smell this one i think yeah yes this is still good this still smells so good now it's gonna be a lipstick collection and declutter and then I have this one from Urban Decay, Gwen Stefani. Ooh. I think this is one of my first Urban Decay lipsticks. Ah, uh, that is old. Oh my god. Look at that. It was like a weird white thing in there. Okay, this one smells like whatever. Gummy whatever already. So nope. This, I think I'm only just keeping this for the packaging, but this is up for the glutter. Maybe we can put some on the declutter part right here. So we are going to, yeah, just remove some things here. And then this one, Shishido. This is really nice. I use this sometimes. And just a lip gloss in the shade. RD305, it's called Shishido Lacquer Gloss. And it looks like this. It's a very nice gloss. So that, I love. I have two of this small Makeup Forever lip glosses. That was from Sis Nancy of Nancy Life TV. I used some of this on my makeup videos. So one is in 209 and one is 403. It's called Artist Plexi Gloss. Yeah, so those are like really cool. I think I have lots of like this pink and then this red, but I prefer nude lipsticks now. 
I have a very tiny Kat Von D right here, which is I think part of the Kat Von D and Too Faced collab. Oh, that is huge. This is Bambira. Yeah, I'm right. Yeah, this one still smells so good. So that's okay. And it looks like this. A very deep red. Yeah, that's nice. I have a mini Yves Saint Laurent YSL. This is not used yet. Yep. Wow, but that's a pretty coral color. It's number 52, Rouge Pour Couture. Okay, that, I should check this out. Ooh, Smashbox right here. And this is, um, I think this comes with a small palette that was given to me by Sis Nancy of Nancy Life TV. This is never used. It looks like this. And I'm just gonna smell it. Ah, oh, yeah, that is still okay. And then I know I have to deglotter this one. It was, this was given to me by my cousin. It's SD Lauder in 67 Mystic Mauve. It's a very nice packaging. Maybe I'm just gonna keep it just for the sake of like, you know, just having this cute packaging with the shade of the lipstick right there, down there. But oh, this still smells half okay. <laughs> but this is old. Nah, I don't know. Maybe. I don't think I'm going to use this one. But yeah, it doesn't really smell like clay-ish yet. Maybe just hold on to this one just for the packaging. But not for use. So I'm just going to still put that in the declutter file. Deborah Littman. Still from Mrs. Nancy of Nancy Life TV. And I only got one of these. Nope. Or, oh yeah, what's this watched? <sighs> Looks like it is so... Nay, I don't think, maybe this, that's this, the design of it. No, this is not used. But this one does not smell good even though it's not used, so... I'm not sure, I didn't even use that one, so maybe I like, put it in the color tile. Or like on the maybe pile. This one is very old, one of my very first Lunte Cosmetic Labs. I tried to smell this already. This one smells very bad, very, very bad. But I just wanted to show you how it doesn't even swatch anymore. Look at that. Whoa, look at that. Oh my God. <laughs> That's crazy. Uh, this is the first time that I see like a super bad one. And it's really keeping this just for the packaging. So let's put that on that pile also. I don't think that any of these are bad. Because these are new. So uh, this one is from St Steve Laurent. This is quite popular here in Sweden, but I don't really know about this one. Because it's not so hyped. But it has this very nice shade of this lipstick. I want to actually give this to somebody. Yeah, but it's just nice to have in my collection until I found out who he really is. <laughs> so that's that. Maybe just put that here. And then I have some more lipsticks here. These two are from Thailand brand. So Gina Glam and then Cute Press. I think I shared this to you already. I have another Cute Press here somewhere. A lipstick. And that was uh, the, oh yeah, the Little Mermaid Cute Press Lipstick. I used that on one of my videos, but it's not here. I don't know where it is. Oh my. This one, oh, that is still sealed. So maybe I can try to check it out from the bottom. So let's see. Oh, lip gloss. Or was it? Beauty and the Beast. That is so cute. What a packaging. It says Cute Press Beauty and the Beast Comfort Matte Liquid Lip. Ah, Comfort Matte Liquid Lip. Okay. So that's that. But I haven't opened this one yet. I think that's the shade at the bottom. Yeah, I'm not gonna open this yet. <laughs> Maybe in the future, because I have way too many lipsticks that are opened, and I feel so guilty, so maybe do not open those ones yet. Or at least do not swatch it. So um, this one is another one. 
given to me on a swap because I made a beauty swap with a Filipino friend who's living in Thailand back then, but she doesn't live there anymore. I think she lives in Japan now. Yeah, this is very nice packaging of Gina Glam. I think the only time that I opened this last time was like when I was unboxing the swap. Okay, it's this nice red shade. That's nice. Okay, this one smells okay. Reminds me of the scent of the lipsticks of Etude House. I have another Urban Decay here. This one is new. I got this from a sale. I bought two of these. One I gave to my mom and one is for me. And this is called Tourist Cream. But since I have way too many lipsticks, I am thinking that I should probably just give this to somebody else. So it's like this. And I, yeah, I remember it's a pretty shade. Like so. Like a pinkish shade. Oh no, this is already swatched. Maybe I swatched this when I unboxed my Sephora haul. So it's going to be like so. Look at that, that's so cute pink. That's a nice one. Okay, I should really put this out. I'm gonna remove the box. And I should put this out since maybe right there. Let's see. I have five makeup store lipsticks. So you saw my makeup store compacts, and then I have some makeup store lipsticks here in makeup store. It's very popular in Thailand. We used to have them in the Philippines. I don't think that we have it anymore, but they used to be at the podium. But uh, we have it here in Sweden because it's a Swedish brand. So uh, I believe that all of these are open, but not all of them are swatched. So let's start with this one and this one with a silver. Okay, this is not used, but this is very light nude. Look at that. That's really cool. I don't think I have a lipstick like this at all in my collection. That's really nice. I really cannot smell it. I don't know how this one really smells. Oh, I have a new one here, so I would know. Here is the partner for the porcelain collection. It's the lipstick called Belle. But I made a video of my collection for makeup store before. Okay, this one smells the same one as that one. Maybe it's like not crazy formulation like the other lipsticks and maybe they don't really last for so long this ones i really like keeping for their limited edition packaging here's another one and this is called leo safari print and this is like so oh okay are you kidding me elizabeth that's like another nude or most of their limited editions back then was like this color oh, okay this one is like okay smell all right, but uh, come on, what is the difference between this and then the other two that I opened? Because they look about the same. At least if I'm needing nude lipsticks, I know where I'm going to pick up these lipsticks because they're here on the makeup store department. Okay, look. All right, so if we're going to compare them... This one on the top is the lightest. This is the much more brown in the middle. And then this one is just uh, in between this two, actually. So the much more wearable for me is this one, Leo. This one will still be a nude shade. It's very nice packaging. I have a compact of this one. But uh, this one gets dirty. This one just stored in there. Aha, look. Another pale color. This one is a very pale pink, like nude pink. This is going to be a concealer on my lips. Okay. So I'm going to show you all four of them right now. And they look like this. Oh, that's interesting. But I have one more right here. This one I bought this year, early this year, one of their limited editions also, and this is so cute with the wings. If I'm not mistaken, this was released on like Valentine's Day. 
And this is a very wearable shade. So it's this red with the wings. And it's like this. So if I bring out all of the new lipsticks from the lightest to the darkest, it's going to look like this. Ta-da! I love their packaging. I only have one lipstick from Jeffree Star and then one highlighter which I have shown you on my makeup collection video that was up yesterday. So I'm just going to show you what this looks like. This is one of his old bullets that he have already retired and it looks like this. And this is like a limited edition shade if I'm not mistaken. This one is called Beauty Pageant and this one has a lot of glitter. This is actually nice. I tried this one and yeah, it looks nice for me. But I think I would prefer to use this with a lip liner inside or something dark inside to have more color to it. And that's about that one. So I am going to share with you now the Guerlain lipsticks that I have right here. Actually, I only have a few lipsticks. These are mostly Guerlain cases. All right, let's start with my Guerlain Rouge G lipsticks. And I only have a few though, so let's see here. Okay, this is how the old Guerlain lipstick looks like. I only have one here, but I used to have one in the shade, was that Gigi, if I'm not mistaken? And I really loved that one, but I finished that and then I was not able to keep the packaging. Good thing I still have one right here, and this one is Guerlain Rouge G number 23, Geisha. So it's very nice, it's very weighty, it's heavy, and it really feels luxurious. And it looks like this. So Guerlain are, it's the first company who made the lipstick. And this one is just a very pretty red, like so. I can swatch that just right here. And it looks like that. So stunning. I should use this for the holidays. What I love about Guerlain Rouge G lipsticks is that it has this dual-sided mirror. One mirror is just a regular mirror and then another side is a magnifying mirror. Which one is which? I think the one at the bottom is the magnifying and this one is like the regular mirror. So that's a good thing. If you're out and you don't really want to bring a lot of things, then you can retouch with this type of lipsticks to have a mirror anyway. So that's the first one and the oldest one. And then I have here a limited edition. This one is limited edition from 20, was it 2019? Yeah, 2019 if I'm not mistaken. And this one looks like this. This is so stunning. And there's just so many pretty lipsticks that Guerlain created and they are still together like the lipstick bullet and then the lipstick rouge g case are still being sold together now they sell them separately they call the the this one refills and then they call this like uh of course the case and yeah they don't they no longer sell them as is this is very stunning because this is like all black right here, but the mirror part and then the logo part is gold. So if we're going to compare, this is the original one. This is all black and then it's gold right here, gold right here, and then it's black here. And yeah, so that's the comparison. And this has a very pretty red color, of course more leaning with a blue based red so looks like pinkish looks like there's like a micro fine shimmer in there so this is gonna be yeah well this is a holiday release so that's why it's perfect for the holidays but i do not want to swatch this yet i have way too many red, red lipsticks out and most of my girl line will be just like a collection collector's edition for me i only have one two three four five of the lipsticks right here. So one of the lipsticks is here on this case, which I wanted to use for the holidays. And uh, yeah, this one was, oh, sorry. Uh, the one earlier that I showed you, the black and gold was in the shade Glamorous Cherry. 
and I think that was a 2018 release. This is the 2019 release instead. This uh, case, but they sell this separately. So I have the two bullets, and then they sold this one instead for last Christmas. This one is in number 93, and it looks like this. Very stunning. I love this color. This is so pretty. And to give justice, I'm going to swatch this. Yeah, it just looks like that. You can use it alone or you can use it as a topper also. But I love using this alone anyway. That is in this packaging. Oh, so that means I have something else here that's wrong. So that's that. And then for the next one, I believe this is the 092. I think I'm only missing the 091. So 092 is supposed to be on this packaging. And they have this cap. So when they sell it, it's still protected. You can just remove that when you wanted to use it and transfer it to a case. So it's almost similar. Okay, this is also swatch, of course, because I did swatch this when I have made my haul video. But this is much lighter than the first one, 093. So 92 is lighter. And if you're going to compare, once again, this is 092, the one that I just opened. And then 093 was from earlier. So this is how they look like. That's more wearable. This one is like more of a tupper. Nonetheless, they are both very pretty. All right, so next I have three more right here. So let me start with this orange shade. This one is number 45, and it looks like this. Very pretty. A very light red. So right and there. I have N61. N61, I think it, this is a nice wearable shade. It looks like that. I know that one of my friends who is also a collector, um, a very beautiful friend from Australia, from down under, uh, Miss Jo Silver. She loves Guerlain and she's waiting to see my collection also. So I know that she would like this one. Yes, this one is matte. That is exciting. Because before I have only tried Guerlain that are not matte. But now I have this one. So I have this for quite some time already. I have some of them. I have been collecting them for about a year for the new ones because they just recently released those anyway. They used to have this ones in the limited editions before. And then I wanted to collect them, but I kind of stopped since I went addicted with some other things like makeup palettes. And I stopped buying these cases, but I would still try to collect them. Here's another one. N77 is the shade. And this one is a Barbie pink, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, that is a very pretty pink. This is going to be perfect for summertime. It's a very pretty summer color. That's very pretty summer shade. Wow. That's that. And now we are only left with the caps for the Rouge G, but I have some more lipsticks right here. And I have a lip balm right there, which I should be showing you. I just put it there because that's where I opened the luxury and high-end lipsticks that are open already. Let's start with the pink one. So this one is one of my super favorites. Yeah, this one is one of my super favorites and this one is called K-Doll. This is a very light pink. And I love to use this for every day. And it just looks like this. And it's like pearlized. I still haven't removed the plastic here. It's so stunning and it's pink all over. So another pink right here is this one in Miami Glam. 
So Miami Glam looks like this in the box. And it looks like this. Very pretty. So you can feel the texture here. It's like leather, but the design is only on the top part. And it's silver all over just like the original one. So only here. And you will notice that on most of the Guerlain Rouge Tree mirror cases. The next one right here is called Gypsy Folk. So Gypsy Folk is a very pretty one with lots of pink and red flowers. They also released a very nice uh, like a Sakura inspired lipstick cases. I wasn't able to grab that so hopefully I will still be able to get my hands on those. This one is a little bit similar to K Doll because it's pink on this part, but on the front part or on the top part of the case, it has the flowers. So that is just so stunning. This next one is called Neonista. And Neonista is so pretty, like so. So it's a neon pink. And this is the last pink that I have and this is oh my gosh it's just neon pink all over that is so pretty I love it so it's a little bit more glossy on the top and not glossy on this part but I couldn't say matte also but at least it's like more polished than this one on the top part is very glossy and they're quite heavy that's neonista Next, I have a purple one right here. So this one is called the Hype Purple. And it looks like this. And this is how it looks inside. This is just a nice one too. And this is one good example of that. It only has a design on the top and it's just a regular silver case all over. And that looks like a crocodile leather in there, but it's in just purple shade. Next one that I have is this, and this is called a rock and navy. So this one looks like a navy blue. And looks like this. Very pretty navy blue. And it's like this. So this is so similar to the high purple, but if you see the design is like this more a little bit similar all over and just same texture but just a true blue shade and silver at the back of course all right this one is called very batik with a batik type of design so cool it's very art deco and this one looks like this oh my gosh I cannot remember that I opened this one already so it seems like I'm seeing this for the very first time that is so stunning so this is silver but they plated that and put this batik design on the top as you see and then here it's blue just plain blue all over that is just the coolest one wow this is very interesting I cannot wait to use this very batik one so I will start with this one and this is called the perfect black that's the name the perfect black it looks like this
Ooh. Now we have a much more matte type of design for the top. And then silver all over. Stunning. This one is called a Neo Gothic. So this one is a black marble. And it looks like this. And it's this one. Now this is more marbly. Here on the top, no texture, just marbly design. And this one is very similar to another marble one here, which you will see. I, I can show you right after this. So let me just grab that right now. And it's this one. Yeah, Minimal Chic is a marble white. It looks like this. And it likes, it's like this. So pretty. So you see what I mean? We have the black marble and then the white marble. It's so cute. Oh my God. Another white one. So this one is simply white and it looks like this. One of those crocodile ones. So we are going to enter the crocodile series. <laughs> so all the next four ones are pretty similar, but this is just a plain white one. So silver all over, but just white one in here. So that's the lightest. And then I have this next one is called the Rosy Nude. Looks like this. So this Rosy Nude is this one. That is just a very pretty nude print there, leather. And then I have here is Power Chick. A nicer color looks like this and it looks like so and now this is like a little bit more similar to hmm I think they just differ on uh, how big the designs over here are but most of them like looks the same just different colors of the top and then the last one on this leather series is Nomad Queen. And Nomad Queen is a very pretty mustard leather type. And it looks like this. Mustard yellow. And this is all four of them. <laughs> They're so cute. I put them like, like so. Ta-da! And look at that from different colors so interesting now I'm going to show you the gold colors so I'm going to start with this one because it doesn't fit here and this one is from a holiday collection if I'm not mistaken this one has red and black if I'm not mistaken yeah and I wasn't able to buy the others yet wonder gold looks it doesn't show what it is okay so Wonder Gold is like so. That is so cute. Looks like it's studded. But that's like what's that? What is that material? Ah okay. So it's just plastic, but it looks like a stud. And it's in gold, so that's really cool. And now I have here Perur Gold. And it's just a pretty golden one like so oh wow I think I'm missing the rose gold because this one has a rose gold also so this is just gold all over so stunning look at that oh my gosh that's so pretty 
Last but not the least, I already showed you this earlier. This is called the Electric Gold. And this one looks like this. It's just, uh, hmm, I don't know what is this material, but it's like a little softer. So it's like a fabric material there. A lot of people did not like this one, but I'm, I'm okay with it. I like it actually. And I have four of these. So I'm giving one um, to my moms. I have so many moms, right? And then I'm giving one to my aunt. So all three are given away already as Christmas gifts. And I only have one left for myself. Last but not the least, this one doesn't fit there anymore. And yeah, it's just this green one. Should have shown you this on the... Uh, this type of series the leather series and this is called the urban emerald so urban emerald this is a pretty green it's perfect for spring summertime even autumn that's like so stunning look at that green wow so that's about it for my girlland rouge g lipstick cases 18 cases and then one that's limited edition that has both the lipstick and the case and then one is the old one so i have all in all it's actually 20 cases but the just the cases themselves that i bought separately those were actually 18 yeah and now i'm going to share with you this last four items Plus the lip gloss that I have from Guerlain, lip balm rather. So this one is the Kiss Kiss Morning Rose. And this one is a very nice morning rose scent. Has Guerlain on the top. And I use this on a lot of my videos because I put Guerlain first or I put a lip balm first before I do all of my makeup. I just wanted to moisturize my lips at the beginning of the makeup as I do my primer it's like priming my lips also it has screw line here and it's just like this a very pretty light pink lip balm doesn't really have too much tint on the lips just a very nice balm and then we have four items here I think this all came in the same collection if I'm not mistaken oh one is matte Oh, this one, no. So this two came with the same collection, but this is a different one. So this one is in all gold packaging, and this is a Guerlain Kiss Kiss Matte in Daring Pink. Very nice golden matte packaging. This is not swatched. This is new, and it has Kiss Kiss engraved in there. Yeah, this one smells so good. All of the girl and lipsticks are scented. So if you don't like that, then I don't think you're going to like girl and items. And then I have this too. So I have girl and hashtag KK Orange. And then girl and Kiss Kiss Excessive Rose. So let's open... So KK Orange is in this very pretty light pink lipstick case. Reminds me of the Rouge G case right there. Oh my gosh, that is so cool. And this one looks like this inside. Oh wow, it's a heart shape. Forgot about this one. So it's this one, the lip balm is just a plain white and this is very light pink, though just the way I wanted the pinks. Very light, baby pinks. So that's the KK Orange, the heart shape. And then Excessive Rose is in the regular black packaging for the Kiss Kiss lipsticks. And it looks like this. Very pretty fuchsia pink. So it's a very pretty fuchsia pink. That is just so nice. 
And then I have two more over here. And last but definitely not the least, a very pretty packaging over here. And it's called Sugar Kiss. If I'm not mistaken, this is a Chinese New Year exclusive. And it looks like so, a metallic red. And the shade is like this, a very pretty pink. Oh my gosh. So I'm gonna show you all of the Kiss Kiss lipsticks that I have right here. So that's the lip balm. And then I have here the matte Kiss Kiss in gold. So that's them. And then I have the black one and I don't know how I will fit this in my hand. <laughs> And then I have the pink one. Oh my gosh, I have the smallest hands ever. So yeah, I was able to fit them all. So white, gold, metallic red, a black, and a light pink. All right, so now to this part. I removed these 10 lipsticks that I have already shown you earlier. They used to be in there too. So all of these red lipstick recommendations and the best ones, I'm not gonna show you again because I showed you earlier already. So I'm going to start with this one, my most bougie lipstick ever. And this one is the one from Carolina Herrera. It's just so stunning and it's just a very cool idea wherein you can put some charms here on the lobster clasp. Yeah, the lobster clasp holder right here. And then, well, this one is very expensive only because you have to buy everything separately. So this cap you buy separately, the refill you buy separately, this tassel right here is bought separately also. Even this ring. Oh no, this ring comes with this one if I'm not mistaken. Or was it? Maybe not, I forgot already. But uh, these two, you have to buy them separately. So that's why I only have one because... Hmm, it's very expensive. Plus, it's very hard to get because I could only buy this from Harrods in the United Kingdom and they are quite very expensive for the shipping. The shade for this one is just this, a very nice shade. This is not what I expected it to be, but I'm okay with it because this is nice on the lips. Might be looking brown, but it's sheer, like so. You could build it up. And it's gonna look like that, so it's still okay for me. One of the most expensive lipsticks that I ever have. And then at the, the same time that I bought this one, I got this. So I have a separate video of this one and then another Carolina Herrera product. And then I have the Dolce & Gabbana also. I bought together with this and then the Dolce & Gabbana highlighter. All right, so this one is called The Only One in Angel Pink 200. I do not like the photos in Harrods because they're very far from how they really look like in real life. So I chose this one because I thought that this is, could be an everyday nude pink, but this is just way too light for me, but I could make it work. But it's just that this lipstick alone is way too light. It looks like a concealer on my lips. It doesn't even show when I swatch it on my skin. Look at that. So I have to try it again. Then that's really how it is already layered. Not so bad. So I still use this. I It's growing on me. And then I have this one which is a NARS Orgasm Lip Balm. This is really awesome. I love it. And this is almost gone. Like how much is it left? So I'm trying to not finish this, but lip balms are made to really apply like 20 million times on the lips. So I'm sure in no time this will be finished. One of my favorite lipsticks is Dior. Dior Addict right here. I've shown you this in a bazillions of my videos. It has CD here. The shade for this is 976B Dior and it looks like this one. Very sheer also, but you could build it up. I like those sheers that you could build up. I used to love only mattes and reds, and then I shifted to just these wearable ones. 
And then I have some that I haven't opened yet. The Charlotte Tilbury, I did open that one, yes. But I haven't shared you the video yet. So I will be, I already filmed my Charlotte Tilbury pillow talk, eyeshadow look. I have two videos already, the unboxing of this one and then that one. But I decided that they will come out on January instead. This one looks like this. A very unique style on the lipstick. And I love it. It's very wearable lipstick. It looks like this. So stunning. So they are not similar. They may look similar right here, but that is like, of course, very sheer. And this is like a matte one. Much more solid color. A nice nude for me. Not my perfect nude, but just a nice wearable nude for me. Then this is the Laura Mercier that I wasn't able to open when I showed you my makeup collection because I have some Laura Mercier items. And yeah, this one is a full-size lipstick and this is the shade right here. A nice orange. Tangerine actually. So Laura Mercier in Tangerine. And uh, yeah, but the shade name is actually Bliss. So that I haven't used yet and I have a small one here. Wow, that is actually, I have to peel that off or maybe I do not want to do that. And then lastly, I have here Givenchy and this is a lip balm. This is very nice with this faux leather packaging here. It's a slim but long and then you could open it here like so. It's a very pretty color for a lip balm. It's a very slim one. Yeah, so I like this type of like tinted lip balms. It's called Rose Perfecto in the shade Cosmic Plum. So last but definitely not the least are these lipsticks right here that are luxury lipsticks that I haven't opened yet. I haven't swatched yet. But i just collecting them so I can do one entire video of them. So I will just show you how they look like in the packaging. But I'm not going to fully open them because I plan to do that next time. Alright, so I am going to start from the back. So this big one oh. is, it even says luxury lipstick here because it really is. Um, or history of Hobo. I just always say faux because it looks like F and O right here. But it's history of rule. Okay, so yeah, it says a luxury herbal lipstick imperial concept. Right. Made in Korea. It's a Korean luxury brand that I got from Thailand. Yeah. And then this one looks like this. Oh, look at that. That is just so stunning. Oh my god. Wow, that's just, this is just a collector's item for me. I will not have a heart to use this one. And um, the concept behind this is that it has this magnetic part on the top. And this one here is not just like something hanging but it's a lip brush so you could actually remove it like so and then there's a magnet in there and when you pull this it's a lip brush that's like so cool and then let's see which shade i chose <laughs> i'm sure this is red this is when i am crazy about reds that time could be like this also that Reminds me of the Carolina Herrera lipstick. And then, of course, it's a red. Ooh, but that's red with some shimmer. Wow, that's like a stunning color. Okay, I'm sure that my camera will not give justice to this one. That is so stunning. And this one smells really 
nice still. Not heavily perfumed like Guerlain lipsticks or the other ones like Dior, Yves Saint Laurent or Chanel lipsticks. But yeah, just a very specific scent only for this lipstick. So that's History of Wu. And then I have two Tom Fords right here. Oh, does why did I open already? I'm not mistaken. Let's see. Paradiso, I opened that already, so that this should be out. Paradiso is in this white packaging. I made a Tom Ford video this year, and then I used this lipstick together with a compact. And it looks like this one. I used this all summer. It's so stunning. And it looks like this. That is really pretty. So it's a very fun, vibrant summer shade, but not neon. White packaging, so cool. And then I have another one right here, but this one I would not dare to open since I haven't really opened this one. This one is in Wild Ginger. So Wild Ginger is from the Regular or permanent line of Tom Ford Lip Color Rouge Alivres Lipstick. I'm sure I butchered that. But yeah, so it's just unlimited edition packaging, which is gold. Because I just wanted to have like one different color packaging of Tom Ford. <laughs> just collect one each. And then of course you saw the Tom Ford from earlier. I have five. Gucci lipsticks over here. I'm just gonna show you what it looks like for the packaging. So I have here matte satin. I have just one from each of the finishes on their permanent line. Alright, so I have here The Satin in Blaze of Noon, Matte in Patricia Pink, No More Orchids, what's the finish of that one, I forgot. And then the Painted Veil, very, very popular, and Goldie Red for the Gothic, and that's like the metallic one. So all of them have a different packaging also. So this is how they look like. Ta-da! Yeah, just one per finish and one of the different packagings. But these are on their permanent line, so I do not have their limited edition ones. Yeah, so those are like so stunning, very pretty, and they're very vintage. I love this one right here, which looks like Tiffany Blue. And I have the bronzer, of course, that has the same color of the packaging. That so yeah, that is how they look like. But I'm going to do a swatch video specifically for them in January for sure. So last but definitely not the least are these lipsticks right here that are luxury lipsticks that I haven't opened yet. I haven't swatched yet. But I just collecting them so I can do one entire video of them. So I will just show you how they look like in the packaging, but I'm not gonna fully open them because I plan to do that next time. Alright, so I am going to start from the back. So this big one is one of my most expensive lipsticks. It's called History of Faux. It even says luxury lipstick here because it really is. Um, or history of Wu. I just always say Fo because it looks like F and O right here, but it's history of Wu. Okay, so yeah, it says a luxury herbal lipstick imperial concept. Right. Made in Korea. It's a Korean luxury brand that I got from Thailand. And then this one looks like this. Oh, look at that. That is just so stunning. Oh my god. Wow, that's just, this is just a collector's item for me. 
I will not have a heart to use this one. And um, the concept behind this is that it has this magnetic part on the top. And this one here is not just like something hanging, but it's a lip brush. So you could actually remove it like so, and then there's a magnet in there. And when you pull this, it's a lip brush. That's like so cool. And then, let's see which shade I chose. <laughs> I'm sure this is red. This is when I'm crazy about reds that time. Could be like this also, that. Reminds me of the Carolina Herrera lipstick. And then, of course it's a red. Ooh, but. That is so stunning. And this one smells really nice still. Not heavily perfumed like Guerlain lipsticks or the other ones like Dior, Yves Saint Laurent or Chanel lipsticks. But yeah, just a very specific scent only for this lipstick. So that's History of Wu. And then I have two Tom Fords right here. Oh, the other one I think I opened already. I'm not mistaken. Let's see. Paradiso, I opened that already, so Paradiso is in this white packaging. I made a Tom Ford video this year and then I used this lipstick together with a compact and it looks like this one. I used this all summer. It's so stunning and it looks like this. That is really pretty. So it's a very fun, vibrant summer shade, but not neon. White packaging, so cool. And then I have another one right here, but this one I would not dare to open since I haven't really opened this one. This one is in Wild Ginger. So Wild Ginger is from the regular or permanent line of Tom Ford Lip Color Rouge Alavres. Lipstick, I'm sure I butchered that, but yeah, so it's just unlimited edition packaging, which is gold Because I just wanted to have like one Different color packaging of Tom Ford <laughs> Just collect one each and then of course you saw the Tom Ford from earlier. I have five Gucci lipsticks over here I'm just gonna show you what it looks like for the packaging so I have here matte satin I have just one from each of the finishes on their permanent line all right so I have here the satin in blaze of noon matte in Patricia pink no more orchids What's the finish of that one? I forgot. And then the Painted Veil, very, very popular. And Goldie Red for the Gothic. And that's like the metallic one. So this is how they look like. Ta-da! Yeah, just one per finish and one of the different packagings. But these are on their permanent line. So I do not have their limited edition ones. Yeah, so those are like so stunning, very pretty, and they're very vintage. I love this one right here, which looks like Tiffany blue. And I have the bronzer, of course, that has the same color of the packaging. That. So yeah, that is how they look like. But I'm going to do a swatch video specifically for them in January, for sure. And then I just have some Dior products right here. I got five. Aside from, of course, the one that you have seen on my Dior lipstick, the Coffret, that I'm not gonna open also. 
<laughs> for the same reason that I keep on telling you the entire video. I have way too many and I don't want to like swatch them and open all of them all at once until I justify the other ones that are still open. Um, and this one is a Dior Stellar Shine lipstick. It's a very pretty packaging. The difference between this one and then the other packaging is that this is more holographic and there's just like a rainbow color in there. I hope that shows on this video compared to the other one that's that still has that rainbow vibes but this one is like more prominent and it has this metallic pink over here for the Dior logo. So that's the difference. This one is Dior Lacquer Stick in the shade Turn Me Dior. And it's also um, almost similar to that kind of packaging, but this one is much more plum in color. It may look dark, but yeah, it's not black. It's more of a plum color. And then this one is just the Dior Lip Sugar Scrub. It's gonna be a part of my luxury lip balm video that will come up soon. Lip Sugar Scrub Sweet Exfoliating Balm. It says Dior over here. That's embossed. It's really showing this lighting. It's a very nice frosted packaging. Last three. So I have here. This one, so I bought one for my mom and then one for me. And this one is called the Dior Miss. It's the shade and number. Oh my gosh, where am I opening it? Oh, it looks like that. Oh, it's pink. <laughs> yeah, so that's pink. But a light one. And then, just two more. Here is a Dior Lip Glow. And this one is in the shade 001 pink. Oh, okay. It says here it's a, a balm also. It's a balm that's on this packaging. Ah, yeah. Because the lip scrub is the scrub. And this is more of the balmy part. Last but definitely not the least, it's a Steeler. Or Rouge Dior Ultra Rouge in Ultra Shock. And it's, of course, a very special packaging in red. The other one is just the usual Dior packaging, but this one is in red. Yeah, so that's about it. If I forgot something, oh my gosh, I don't know. But yeah, that's all of them. And then there's this one that came in today. And this is the ColourPop Ultra Gloss Lip. From the Sailor Moon collection. Well, this was sold on an auction. I bought it, but this is new, but they didn't include the box anymore. So Sailor Moon X Color Pop in the shade 20B3. If that is even what it's called. <laughs> and that's about it. So here are the lipsticks that I am going to short declutter one, two, three, four, five, six from earlier and then some of the lipsticks that I took from my makeup storage which is my video yesterday and this one I haven't showed you earlier and I did not really look at them one by one also um, so this one is a very old lip gloss from Lancome this is not super bad yet so this is on the declutter but not throwing so I'm going to put things that are like not for throwing. Oh, I'm going to include the sleek matte me in birthday suit. This is still, it's still okay, but I decided to declutter that instead. This one is bad. This one is meh. That one is still good, so I'm just good, still going to put that there. And then we're going to decide on this one. So this one I used on like a mermaid 
makeup. Makeup Revolution Unicorns Unite Shade. So this is the shade for this one. I'm not sure about this. So I'd rather declare that right here. And then I have this next one. This is just a very light shade, like very light pink. But I'm into light pinks now. Okay, this is way too light for me. So that's going to be on the declutter pile, but still good. So somebody could still get that. I think this is sleek, if I'm not mistaken. But where is that? I don't know. This is supposed to be sleek, if I'm not mistaken. A red a lipstick. Okay. Oh, that's twisted a little bit in there. I'm not sure. This is like in, in between. So I'm just going to put that still there. Viva La Diva, a makeup brand from Sweden. Let's see. Okay, this one still smells okay. I'm going to declutter this instead. Maybe somebody would enjoy this more than I do. This was given to me by my friend Marielle. I think I'm just going to keep this just for because of the sentimental value. It's gold. I think she got this from Korea or Japan. Another Makeup Revolution right here. And this one is in the shade Mystify. Oh, that's a pretty shade. Okay, that still smells good. Hmm. Let's see. For now, I may be keeping it, but maybe decluttering it. This one is also from Makeup Revolution in the shade Chauffeur. Uh, I thought this was like a MAC dupe for Whirl or something. Okay, that's nice. Okay, I'm just going to declutter this one. Medusa. Okay, I wasn't able to use this one, but I showed you this in my makeup collection. It's a brown shade. Okay, this one smells so bad already. This one smells so bad. Sorry, I have to like throw that away. W7 Butter Kiss Lipstick. Smells okay. It's nice red. Decluttering this. <laughs> this one, Vampire's Kiss. I was like selling this before. The, this type of lipsticks. And this is just a very funny one. Because it looks like um, it's inspired from an Anna Sui lipstick case. Very pretty. But it's the shape... <laughs> You know what shape that is. Okay, that, that's a nice color actually. Okay, this one smells so good. This is like heavily, really, um, heavily perfumed. That's that looks so nice. So, I think I'm gonna keep this one. Just because. Uh, so I ended up decluttering two, four, six, eight, nine. And then 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 lips, only 14 lipsticks out of about 200 lipstick. I did a terrible job with this one, but this is only supposed to be like a lipstick collection anyway. I didn't really plan it to be a declutter one or a declutter video. So yeah, not so bad. Thank you so, so much for joining me on this video. And I hope that you like my lip swatches. I really worked so hard for these lip swatches. It was, it was very difficult since they are very pigmented and it's difficult to remove them and apply foundation once again and do the entire thing but i really wanted to give you a variation from the affordable ones up to the really best test ones that's not even a word yes and i hope that you enjoy my entire lipstick collection video also maybe next time i can do an in-depth with lots of swatches but for now since we have a limited time and i have so many videos because i do videos every day of december for my vlogmas then uh, yeah, I cannot make this video very, very long. So there you go. And thank you very much, everybody. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. And if you have a video request, just put it down below. If you have questions about the lipsticks, just put it down below. And I will see you on my next video. Don't forget to hit subscribe so you'll be notified on all of my future videos. Love you. Remember to stay fierce and fly high. Thank you. Don't worry about a syncopate 
Your body's amazing 